so welcome back. Today I'm here with the Wicked Bourbon Kid and we are going to do a blind bourbon taste test today. We thought it'd be something different, something fun to do for New Year's. Happy New Year's by the way. Happy New Year's everybody. If you are not following my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the little notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And also head over to Instagram and follow Wicked Bourbon Kid on Instagram. All right, so let's get started with this taste test. So what we're gonna do today is we are actually, we picked out four kind of bottom of the shelf bourbons. $10, $10 and, under. and under. We're gonna compare those to some of the more desirable bourbons with like a $40, $50 price range. In that range. In that range. And 20 we're to, gonna- 20 to 40. We're gonna see if Sean can tell the difference. Now we tried Probably to pick not. ones. <laughs> we tried to pick ones that had similar proof and alcohol content so that way you know they'd be um, everything closer to all of these are 80 proof every single one of them and then these here are 82 i think 85 ish which is pretty close yeah. i think i think i'll be able to tell I, and I wasn't allowed to taste anything. These have never been opened. Obviously, these have, but I, so this will I be the first time no he's idea. tasting any of them. And what we're gonna do is he is going to be blindfolded with our little Sagamore Spirits racing goggles. We actually blacked them out on the inside so he cannot see anything. That way, I can pour them. I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I'm pouring, so you'll know what we're pouring. But he's gonna have to decide what one is the more expensive one and what one is the cheaper one. Shout out Dave Rose for the jockey uh, goggles. <laughs> and uh, Joe, goggles, not sunglasses. Put my glasses on. Yeah. Those goggles have to go on. Let me have a sip of uh, bourbon underground uh, juice of the weekend. <laughs> is he uh, drinking water this mm. weekend? He's not feeling so well. Oh, that's too bad. All right, I can't see anything. Okay. First up, we have the Early Times Kentucky Whiskey aged in oak for a taste worth the wait. This one is um, 80 proof right here. And I think this one was around, what, $10 for this bottle. And then we're going to compare that to the Jefferson's. Um, this is the small batch. It's actually very small batch bourbon whiskey right there. I actually really like this bottle. This was one of the first bottles I think that we bought, wasn't it? It was. And uh, this is 82.3 proof. So slightly higher, not a whole lot, but we're going to see if he can tell the difference. My taste buds are not going to taste two and a half proof. And uh, also a big shout out to Infused um, Spirits, which gave us these little, what are they called? Glen Karen? Yep. Glen mini Ka Glen Clarence. Mini Glen Claren um, tasting glasses. So let's see if Sean can tell the difference. I'm just putting a little bit in each one, just to sip, because we don't want to get him completely inebriated after trying all of these. Okay, so first up is going to be this one right here. Here you go. Hey James, can I take my goggles off now? You pour it? No. Why? Uh, How am I gonna know? Yeah, I'm not gonna know what you poured in them, right? Sure, okay, go ahead, take your goggles off. I don't know how jockeys can wear those all day. First stop. Not, now I'm going to tell you if this is early times or Jefferson. Yes. Okay. okay. You want to taste both of them first? Yeah, of course. I got to yeah. compare. Come on. That's the second one. So yeah, this is like, I'm not, I'm not a steward. I'm not good at this, but... I have an answer. Okay, go ahead. I want to say that that was early times. No, sorry. This was early times and that was Jefferson. Yep. Oh! Right. Got the, first one right. the first one he tried was the Jeffersons right there. The second one was I want, I want, early times. I want to give this another try. So now that I know this is early times, I'm going to try it. It's got like a fingernail polish smell right away though, you know? <laughs> I don't know. 
if that's supposed to be a smell. Oh. Like it's the alcohol, mm. like a strong alcohol mm. scent. This one's the Jefferson. This one smells sweeter. It's not bad. I mean, by no means am I a snob. It's not bad. I actually might taste it too. Try it. Because I haven't ever right. tried it. It's not... I mean, it's all right. Yeah, for a ten dollar whiskey. I, mean, I would definitely serve my friends that. Yeah, for ten for the ones ten that bucks. I don't like, typically. I don't think it's that bad either. It's all right for ten bucks. Eh, yeah. In a pinch. All right, so round one, he got one point. He got it right. Look at that. All I can do is go downhill from now. Okay, we're on to round two. All right, so for round two, we're gonna be comparing the Wild Turkey Long Branch. Right there. This one is 43% alcohol. I think this is what, an 80 proof? It doesn't say. Uh, I can't remember. I saw it on there somewhere. Is it on the back? No. I, I don't, it's, it's low. I can't remember what it is. So It says 43% on the front. Yeah. This is the small batch Asian 80, American 80 oak. proof is 40% alcohol by volume, so I kind of went by percent. So. All right, so this we're going to compare this to, I actually liked the bottle of this one. This is the Heaven Hill Quality House Old Style Bourbon Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Another one that was like right in the 10 or $11 price range. Okay, so the first one I'm going to give him is this one right here. So let's see if he can pick out which one's which. All right, go ahead and take your goggles off. All right, first one up. Okay. Do you hear Jameson in the background? He's upstairs watching Toy Story. Okay. Number two. These are like so close. They both smell the same to me. Very similar. Oof. This is Very be hard. similar. <coughs> Do you remember which one's which mm -hmm. now? So? Yep. I guess it doesn't matter. It's whatever the first one I drank, right? Mm hmm. I'm gonna very, say very very similar. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible. I'm saying the first one was. Uh, I'm gonna say it was Heaven Hill, Quality House. You're right. <laughs> yep, first one was Heaven Hill. So two for two. And You're I, doing good so far. Yeah, you you I don't everybody you probably already know this because you're much better at bourbon than I am, but those are like right next to each other. And we didn't know, we didn't know, like we only went by like alcohol, alcohol content and then by proof. like similar proof. All right. So for round three, we are going to try out Kentucky gentlemen right there. <laughs> and again, this is like $9, I think at our um, liquor store. This one is another 80 proof. This one is Kentucky burger. Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey, a blend of Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and spirits from the finest grains. So this is a blended whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's blended. So it might be a little bit different than the Angel's Envy, which we're going to compare it to. And this is the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Finish in Port Wine Barrels Angel's Envy right there. And this one is 86.6 um, .6 proof. So this is a little higher of a proof. It's not going to matter so, to me. We'll see if he can tell the difference with these two. Okay, all goes back on. Let's pour these bad boys up. I already saw you opened up Kentucky Gentleman first. Well, I'm opening first. it up, but you're not going to know which which one I'm going to give to you first. The statistics would say that you're going to give me um, Angel's Envy first, but you'll curveball it and give me Kentucky Gentleman first. So, all right, so which one should we give him first? I think we're gonna give him, hmm, let's 
see, I'm gonna hold both of these up just in case he can see. Put I'm your not head looking, down. my eyes are closed. I don't think he can see anyhow. We're gonna give him this one right here first. All right. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Take your blindfold off. How do they compare? Looks. Mm -hmm. Sounds a little bit. It's like the uh, like a caramel, caramel. How, how do you say? I say caramel. Caramel, caramel. I think it's one of those like tomato caramel things. Okay. The one thing I don't say is y'all. <laughs> we don't say y'all up here. I don't understand it. We don't say, say y'all up here. You all. You move down south. You might have to. Say Number two. Hmm. I'm just on this one. This one's very sweet. I think I have a definite answer. Yeah, I gotta yeah. try. I gotta try both and see <laughs> myself. Let me give it a go. Oh yeah, I think. This one might be pretty easy to tell, yeah, I think. It is. This is clearly Coca Cola. <laughs> All right, what's what? That's Angel's Envy. The first one you tried? Yep. Yes, the first one was Angel's Envy. And it's a clear, like when we sm smelled and tasted, it's, I think. Maybe it's not fair to compare them. You don't, you don't know. This one is a but, little bit higher of a proof than the other one. Well, you can't taste it. I can't taste that. Like the Angel's Envy to me is a it's lot smoother. sweeter and smoother. This one here is, it's, it's okay. Again, any friends that come over, I might tell you you're drinking Pappy Van Winkle. It's probably Kentucky Gentleman. <laughs> you're not going to know. Here, try All right, I'll try this one more time. It's all oh, yeah. right. You can tell. You can definitely tell, tell the difference. Oh, you can definitely yeah. tell. I mean, I'm not a pro at all, and I can tell the difference. Yeah. This one just tastes almost more watered down. Does mm. it, feel, it taste like that to you? Not. I shouldn't say watered down, but not as definitely not the like peppery like mm -hmm. taste that you get in your mouth. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean. Not, it's, so my favorite so far for the bottom of bottom shelf is the um, this is the really, quality really good. Has. And actually, people wrote me about that one uh, more and Kentucky Gentleman, but everybody was more. I believe Heaven Hill is the distillery for uh, Old Fitzgerald, which is obviously a bottle that we want but can't have because the uh, liquor stores around here are uh, ridiculous with their prices for it. So we anybody to, out there that wants to send it to me for a retail, or <laughs> hey, just wants to send it to me. We went to, um, actually we went out this morning, we went to the casino this morning. Sean and I were doing like a little, so it's yeah. like the last day that we really had to like do something, him and I, before his vacation is over. So we went to the casino this morning, and then after that we kind of went bourbon hunting and we stopped at a few different places, and one place had the same bottle of, is it Rip Van Winkle? Yeah. That we got for $70.00 which is like the retail price, they wanted $500 for. Yep. And they wanted like 300 and something for, what was the other Elijah one? Craig. An Elijah Craig, was it 18 year? Yeah, which I think is high. Yeah, I don't so. know. I'm, I'm just, uh, that seems high to me too. All right, so he's three for three. He's doing really good. And we are on to round four, which is our final round. Let's see how he does with this one. Let me put these to that. Now this bottle that's coming up, Nobody, literally nobody in the community that I'm in has ever seen it. So it's kind of exciting to have something that nobody's ever seen. All right, so we're going to be comparing Cabin Still Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey. And it's from Cabin, Cabin Still Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. It's another 80 proof right there. Kind of a cool looking bottle. 
We're gonna compare that to the Four Roses um, bourbon, and this is just a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, same thing, I think that one's an 80 proof also. And we're gonna see if you can tell the difference between these two. So, goggles back on. One thing I do notice with the cheaper ones is they're all twist tops. I know there are some higher end Well, Well, it has twist top, but they've switched over to cork. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Number two's a cork, <laughs> so you might want to well, switch that I'm up not, a I'm not, I'm not, just because I said number one and number two doesn't mean that that's how the order that you're getting it Okay. In. All right, so there they are right there. We're going to give him this one right here first. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Hold your, oh, you can take your goggles off, sorry. This one's pretty easy. Okay. As well. You want to try? Yes. <coughs> want some? Want some Josh juice? <coughs> right down the wrong pipe. That one had a kick to it right at the beginning. <laughs> All right. This is. This one, they are two completely different flavors, mm -hmm. but this one I feel like is just as strong tasting as the first one. Well, they're the same like, proof. Like some of them don't taste quite as like. So the first one, I'm going to say it was Cabin Still and obviously followed up by Four Roses. It, you can definitely <laughs> tell. So I think this is this Cabin is Still. You could smell no, it. No, this this was Four Roses. How do you know? Because I had the, the last one I tried was the Cabin Still. Oh, you sure? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is Cabin Still. That's Cabin Still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like a, such a this one. I don't it almost think. has a maple syrup flavor to I, it. I taste. I don't. Not that I taste. I smell. Like uh. I smell like uh, dirty socks, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just, that was, like, I don't get it now. I had it originally. Maybe because the bottle was just popped. You know, I don't know how fair that is. Maybe. So to me, the cabin still had a maple syrup <laughs> taste to it. I don't know if that's what you tasted, but, like, I don't know. I just got a strong maple syrupy taste to it. Pour me a little bit more. I'll try it again. Yeah, I mean, I guess you get like it. Like the off first yeah. smell. I, I mean, all in all, they're not bad. They're really not. They're not what I thought they would be. It'd be funny if it was like the exact same bourbon that's in Four Roses, and, and they just, you know, like kind of like Walmart does with like cookies and chips and stuff. Like, like has their own brand and yeah. just puts their tag on it. Oh. Anyhow, guys, this was fun. Sean got four out of four, so he definitely knows somewhat about what he's talking about, I think. I don't know if I could have. Maybe next time we'll do another test Reverse. where I'll test it and he'll see if I can tell the difference. I don't good. drink as much as he does, but... Hey, nothing I don't drink, drink that as much. much, but 
Actually, you know what? I probably drink more now that you yeah, say it. Because you mean, usually I make, make the, the drinks, drinks and give them to me. Yeah, I don't drink them. So that's typically. probably what happens. I enjoy them. I just don't drink them. All right, guys. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos of our bourbon encounters. Also, we're going to be doing um, some more traveling kind of videos and some DIYs. So definitely stick around, turn on that little notification. Then come bell. over to my page. Yeah, head Wicked over to bourbon Wicked Kid. Bourbon Kid. Follow me, Eric, it's Eric and the ADK. Uh, hashtag the Bourbon Alliance. That's where I'm at. Um, and then come over and show your support. And Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and Happy New Year, Happy New everyone. Happy New Year. On to 2020. Cheers. Take care.